I don't know, man. I'm thinking we're going to have to climb that mountain last day. <laughs> well, what better way to go out than <laughs> make it a hunt? Well, we had to wait till the last day to do it. Last day. Make a climb. So you've been here basically on and off for two weeks. Yeah. Two and a half weeks. How many bucks do you think you think you've seen? Man, I'm guessing I'm guessing to see a minimum of a couple hundred bucks, but just yeah. just nothing of quality. I yeah. mean, even all the deer that have been shot, there's only been a couple of deer that I thought were nice. Um, yeah, we've I don't seen know. better we've seen better deer on people's phones after they've been harvested than what we've seen on the hoof. I've been here two weekends in a row. I've seen upwards to a hundred bucks too, probably two, three hundred deer total. But nothing that really gives you that wow factor. You know that dark horn, yeah. deep four, heavy chocolate type buck. I just haven't seen that caliber of buck here in this unit. No, no, the age class is really down. You could tell that most of the deer get harvested early, and that's that's a problem. Yeah. It's a big Baxter. Baxter. Look how big buck here we come.
good thing these things are getting not as steep as my old age. <sighs> Tired? A little bit. Always looks closer when you're uh, looking through binoculars. There's independence in the distance. Yeah. What's the bill at? Six forty. There you go. Oh, game over. Oh wait, 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 wait. Gotta go. Oh wait, he's going, he's up. <laughs> In the wisdom of famous poet Emily Dickinson, she wrote the rhyme titled, A Wounded Deer Leaps Highest. This is a metaphor that explains how the strong will always survive. This deer will live to see another day, and the pursuit of this majestic animal will carry on to another lucky tag holder.